don't matter what they throw at us, only angry people win football games. Traveling is definitely something that your average 17-year-old doesn't get to do. One week we're in Japan, one week we're in Australia, one week we're back home going to football games. My favorite memory from school was going to football games with my friends. We always had so much spirit and dressed up to go to the games, even though our team was pretty bad. Players like Messi and Xavi are always hungry. Whatever the game or the competition, even if it is table tennis, they want to win. We used to play two-touch football games after training and they would always be desperate to win. It taught you about life as well as football. I went to public school, elementary through high school. I went to homecoming, to football games, pep rallies, I got detention, I got an F. I've done it all. I wish I could go to the school where my close friends go, but I obviously can't. The good thing is, they're really good about inviting me to all the football games and all that stuff. So I end up having an adopted team spirit for a school I don't go to. The key to any good sports story is identifying the defining moment. In football games or a boxing match, it's usually pretty obvious. But in golf, sometimes it happens on Thursday. Usually it's Sunday, but guys who don't know the game, they can miss it. After the love of my family, there's nothing more important to me than winning football games. If you're dating the quarterback and then you go out with the hockey player, you just go to the hockey games. I don't think I'll still go to the football games. While I'm more of a soccer and tennis fan myself, I still enjoy catching some football games when I get the chance. I'm not trying to win a popularity poll. I'm trying to win football games. My job is to go out there and play football. My job is to go out there and win football games. People care about my personal life, but really I'm dorky. I drink beer and go to football games. And you know, sit in my house in a t-shirt on the weekends and play with my dog. You have to take care of the ball to win football games. I don't think people can watch University of Texas basketball or football games with me, really, anything Texas is playing, without wanting to punch me in the face. I'm as big a Longhorn fan as you'll find. I played in football games where you walk off the field and the scoreboard didn't end up the way you wanted, but you knew that you really did give it all, and the other team was too strong. I went to a high school, I took tests, I took finals, I went to football games, I did the whole thing, because I really wanted to have that normalcy. As long as we're winning football games, I'm happy. Do I think God is going to win football games? Oh no. I never prayed to God to help us win a game. I would pray for the safety of the players. I would pray that they would do their best. I think God will answer that. When a kid plays football games before he attends a class, something is wrong. Football players win football games. I started out as a camera operator. I was doing news, and I was doing sports, baseball games and football games. And I was acutely aware of women not really being in those roles then. When I'm on television, I think that I appeal to the everyday guy, cause that's who I am. The guys who go to the football games on the weekends are my viewers, for sure. I want to go out and win football games, and I want the ball to be put in my hands. Football games are on TV, and it doesn't affect stadium attendance at all. It's the same with movies. People who really love movies and like to go out on a Saturday night will go to the movie theater. I did everything in high school, I played tennis. I played basketball, I was in chorus, I was in the band, I even did the mascot senior year. I went to the football games, and at halftime I went across the field, met all the cheerleaders and got their numbers. The same year, I won prom king. You win football games by first getting possession and then running three and five yard plays. Not by Hail Mary passes, common sense, elbow grease, and keeping a positive attitude. As a Christian, I know my life is in God's hands. He has a plan for me. Therefore, I never worry about tomorrow or never worry about winning or losing football games. That knowledge gives me a lot of composure in tough situations. I want to win football games. It is painful to watch children trying to show off for parents who are engrossed in their cell phones. Children are nostalgic for the good old days when parents used to read to them without the cell phone by their side or watch football games or Disney movies without having the Blackberry handy. Listen, I want to win football games, whatever's going to help us win. I'm not super social, don't really go to parties, or basketball games, or football games very often, the big social occasions. If we go out there, and we play well and win football games, 
all the good stuff will come with it. It's not my job to worry about something I can't control. I still bump, smells like teen spirit. I used to listen to it before all my football games. I did all kinds of things as a young person to try to make money. I had a chicken operation, I sold chickens. I can remember going to high school football games as a 10-year-old and gathering Coca-Cola bottles, cause you'd turn them in and get a nickel. I wanted not to remain idle. Actually, as that first association continued, we got a little more legitimate. In those days, they asked Boy Scout troops to act as ushers during the football games. So we signed up and I went to many games in full Boy Scout uniform as an usher. I was missing out on public school and going to the football games, prom or homecomings. But I've been to three world championships, so I think it's like a win-win. My dad gave my brother and I a camera to film our football games when we were 10 years old so we could see how we could get better. Then one day, we decided to pick up the camera and film whatever we were doing. Football games on Friday nights followed by field parties every weekend was how I spent my high school years. I live in Beverly Hills and I'm proud of it. The only things I miss are pie and mash shops and football games. I've lived in America longer than I lived in England. When I first got here, it just felt right to me. I like the open space, and the weather's great. Everybody wants you to do good things, but in a small town you pretty much graduate and get married. Mostly you marry, have children and go to their football games. We're here to win football games, so whatever that means, whatever that takes, that's what we're going to do. Faith is the most important thing in the world to me. It's the greatest strength I've had. It's helped me get through the hard times. You're not going to win every one of your football games. I've always said I'm not going to make football my god. A lot of coaches put so much into coaching football games that they have nothing left. While the US government is unlikely to ever limit the number of football games, plenty of parents are refusing to let their children play the sport due to the risk of head injuries. We don't always get our respect but you've got to deal with it and go out there every week and just win football games. I love going to football games and going to homecoming dances and just doing normal things. You don't boo at a camp rally. You boo at football games. I want to win football games. JJ Watt is larger than life and Houston's newest sports hero, in every sense of the word. He is a guy who spends NFL Fridays at high school football games and actively seeks out those in need of his kindness. I am the one to admit that I didn't put the ball where it needed to be all the time. But, you know, given the circumstances that we had in Wyoming, we won two back-to-back -back eight win seasons. It was a place where we ended up winning football games. Visit our website for more quotes, quoting.com.